What is going on guys? I'm G Martin and we're coming back with another video. In this one we're going to talk all about the DJI Mavic 2, including the price, the features, the specs, what's going to come included with it. And yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Okay, so the DJI Mavic 2. There have been a lot of rumors come out recently about this drone, and we finally got confirmation that they're gonna be making one. Some cool info we know about this drone so far is the fact that they're gonna be making two of them. They're gonna have the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, which is gonna feature a one inch CMOS sensor, which will give you incredible image quality and videos, probably 4K resolution. In fact, I think we are getting 4K 60 frames a second from what I've heard off of this. And the other model is gonna be a DJI Mavic 2 zoom, which is gonna feature an optical zoom function. You can zoom in two times, which is actually quite impressive for this drone. And if I'm correct, I don't know if any other drone out there nowadays has this feature. Another cool thing that we found out is you're actually gonna get 1080p resolution live stream to your phone. Now, obviously 1080p by itself is, it's all right, but it's nothing too crazy, but it's actually gonna stream 1080p directly to your phone, and normally this is only 720. This is a huge benefit that's gonna come with this drone, allowing you to really see what it's gonna look like a bit more than you would with 720p. With that 1080, it's actually gonna be high definition, and you're really just gonna be able to see a lot more off of that and better image quality. Oh, and then especially if you take these videos and put them on social media off your phone, this will be even better because it'll already be 1080p, which is very nice. Next thing we know about this drone is its range. We have heard that it's gonna have eight kilometers of range, which is five miles. Five miles of range for a drone, that is insane. I don't even think there's a drone out there that can do that. Maybe the Inspire or the Inspire 2, but other than that, that's about it. Five miles of range is incredible. Do you actually realize how far away that is? Like, you'll be able to fly for quite a long time and really you'll just see what's around you a lot more with this range. Next thing we know about is the max speed of this drone, which is gonna be able to hit 45 miles an hour. This is very nice for this drone. It's actually right on par with some of the other drones being released around this time. And that's quite fast for a drone, so good job, DJI. Next thing we know about this drone is the flight time of the drone. We've heard that it's gonna be able to top over half an hour and it's actually gonna be able to get 31 minutes of max flight time. This is insane. I mean, DJI, once again, thanks for giving us this. We appreciate it greatly. We also know this drone's gonna have omnidirectional image sensing, which is quite impressive for this drone. That means it's gonna have what the Phantom 4 Pro has, where it can sense objects in all direction and below. I don't know about above yet, I think that's a no-go on that, but below and all around you, so if there's an object in any of those areas, you will not run into it, especially in normal mode. All right, now the thing that everybody's talking about this drone is the price of this drone. Now, I just wanna confirm that these are only rumors that I've heard, but quite a few people are talking about it. I heard the price for the Zoom model is gonna be right around $1,000 when it gets released, which is actually pretty good for this drone. I thought it was gonna be more, but I'll take $1,000. And then for the Pro model, I heard it's gonna be between 1200 and 1300. That's actually a decent price. It's right along with the Phantom 4 Pro, but I get it because the Mavic is not as big as a drone and it doesn't really pack all that much into it. Okay, so we're done talking about the features, the specs, the price, what's it gonna include, the range. Now we're gonna talk about if I think you should buy one. Considering I've only had the DJI Spark in my drone career and I like that thing a lot, I would be completely fine with going and buying a DJI Mavic Pro 2. Now personally, I'd probably get the Zoom model just because that interests me a bit more than what the Pro model has to offer. Because I really do think that Zoom feature on a drone is quite impressive. As there's no other drones out there that have it built in. So just having a two times optical zoom built into the drone, it's quite impressive. Okay guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope this will maybe convince you to buy one of these drones. But anyways, I'm G Martin. Thanks for checking out this video. I will catch you in the next one.